I grew up camping with my family and we we had a pop-up, we had a tent camper and not tent, yeah, truck camper. We also, my dad died when I was younger and then my mom took us cross country in a van. Uh, my husband and I both tented with our kids cross country. And then when I got to be an empty nester, I got my own vintage camper. And uh, I, I love it. I love being outside and it, it's, it's fun. And it's great to get away with, you know, women. So I love it. I just go, I just go. <laughs> so I do a lot of women camping. So I organize events and stuff like that. Sometimes uh, bi-monthly, monthly. Um, I also host a lot of events in Texas where it's too hot in the summer. So I'll tend to do some in the mountains of New Mexico. I usually try and book stuff where there's a place that has cabins, you know, and tents. Like everybody's accepted when they come to, you know, our camp outs for Girl Camper. Put me next to a lake or an ocean or river and I am good. I love the water. Love to go swimming, love to, you know, kayaking, canoeing, that type of thing, rafting. In fact, went on the Grand Canyon this past year. That was like an ultimate experience, eight days on the Grand Canyon uh, with 23 other women. And we had a great time sleeping out underneath the stars. And uh, yeah, this year is gonna be Idaho. I'm doing a Girl Camper Idaho trip. I don't really see any challenges. Um, you know, maybe strength to lift the cooler out of the car, but otherwise, no, I don't. Towing is the same for men and women uh, backing up. It's a skill set that you learn. I do not see anything like, no. In fact, I do it all better than my husband because sometimes he'll get out of it. If when I go camping with him, he's like, you just do it, honey. <laughs> so, um, you know, you back in better than me. So no. And the way they make things nowadays, electric jacks, electrics, you know, you can push a button, make the stabilizers go down instead of cranking them. No, it's super easy, you know? And I just leave my big heavy Yeti in the car truck and bring bring the my food to the truck and just leave it there all the time, so. Uh, it was founded by Janine Pettit. She's our camper in chief. She's, Janine started about seven years ago with podcasts and blogs, and she started with a Facebook page and it just grew and grew till about three years ago. Uh, she asked me to come on as one of the first guides and when I like to do this and plan trips, and I said, sure, because I was already doing trips with Sisters on the Fly. So this has just been a growing experience for me. Um, I love inspiring women, empowering them uh, for this age group, empty nesters, or really any age. You know, women that want to get outside, it's like, you can do it. I would say, you know, you look at women 100 years ago, 50 years ago, they had, where they were able to get together, they were able to quilt or, you know, I can remember Mrs. Hanley and Mrs. Chambers coming over for coffee. You know, with my mom, you had those, that activity of women supporting each other. And nowadays we don't, we're busy with our careers, we're busy with our kids and you don't have that support. But I love it because you can go to the campground, sit around the fire and you'll have women from different walks of life nothing you have in common with except really the love of camping and going outdoors and you know I've met everything from writers to fighter pilots to nurses teachers you know whatever and you know these women would do anything for you they will hop in the car and go and that's the type of person I have always been and I really enjoy you know having that connection with other women because I think we miss that in our lives just do it um, you can start I have seen women like start in their cars, um, you know, making little curtains, putting the air mattress in there to tents and then just slowly building. Um, it's great to see people come along or, you know, I've known women that are widows, divorced and been in situations, but just to get out and, you know, be out and away from everything, I think is wonderful. Um, really just step in and do it because the women you meet will give you empowerment. And I see women in their 80s camping and towing, and I'm like, I want to be like that in 20 years. <laughs> so I do not have a problem. I do not feel scared at all. I feel very confident. Um, you know, most of the time I'm camping with other women in the campground, and you know, I've got 40 women and I'm surrounded by other people. I have never, ever had a problem. You know, I suggest to women who are scared of that, either yeah, I, you know, you can sleep with your keys and set your car alarm off. You, you know, can have a mag flashlight close by. You can even put big boots outside your door. I have no fear at all. And I never did growing up either. 
You know, I think the people you meet in the campground are the nicest people you're ever going to meet. I think right now I was go to Alaska and camp. I would love that. I've been to just about all 50 states and, you know, someplace different. I love Maine. I just, yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy anywhere. <laughs> I just came back from Florida and swam with the manatees uh, camping. So, yeah, it's, yeah, it, it's fun just to get away and be outdoors. I think is gorgeous, beautiful scenery.